Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be a super easy to follow day to night look. Starting off with my bronzer, I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and I'm applying that all throughout my crease. I'm not being precise, I'm just making sure that I get a lot of it concentrated in my crease area. I'm also taking the color on my bottom lash line. Next I'm taking this cream color from Mary Kay, it's a purpley taupe color and I'm applying it all over my lid just with my finger. Don't apply too much of the cream color at this stage just because you don't want it to crease at all. Next grab a bronze pencil and run it all through your waterline on the bottom. Since my lashes are pretty straight, I'm using a curler like always, and then I'm moving on to a eyelash primer and applying that to my top and bottom lashes. Grab your mascara and apply two generous coats all over your lashes. I'm usually not a huge fan of these brushes, but for some reason this formula works so well with it that I've been loving it. Look at what a difference it makes, it's ridiculous. Next, grab a smudgeable black pencil and line your upper waterline. I know, I know, it's uncomfortable for a lot of you, but honestly, it makes a world of difference. And don't forget to fill in your eyebrows too. Moving on to highlight, take your favorite highlight color and place that on your inner corners, as well as take that underneath your brow bone. It's just going to make that pop a little more. And to finish that off, I am locking everything in with my makeup setting spray. This is a daily staple for me, it really helps my makeup stay put. And there is my final day look. And moving on to the nighttime look, I am again grabbing that cream color from Mary Kay, and this time onto a brush, I'm picking up a little bit more color and applying it more concentrated onto my lid and underneath my lash line again. And then onto a flat shader brush, I'm picking up some of this pressed pigment. It is so glittery and so pretty and it matches perfectly with the cream color. So I'm just applying that all over top of where I put the cream color. And back to that bronzer, picking up more on the same fluffy brush and again doing the same thing, putting it through my crease, just deepening the color and blending a little. The same deal with the bronze pencil, grabbing that and running that through my waterline again. Don't be shy, if there's a lot of product that's a good thing, especially on the inner corners because now I'm taking a bronze colored eyeshadow onto a pencil brush and just patting that onto the inner corners of my eye, dragging it into that purpley taupe color just to blend it a little. And to amp up my highlight, I'm taking more of a gold tone highlight, applying that to my inner corners and brow bone just so it matches in more with that bronze underneath my eye. Taking a smoky gray eyeliner, of course I am out of focus when I do this, sorry guys. I'm running that along the outer third of my eye. Also applying some fresh mascara on the bottom just so that there's no color on the lashes, it's just black. For added lash drama, you can also take a set of falsies and apply those. Of course I'm going to because lashes are my thing. For an evening look, you can always get away with adding a little heavier contour, so I am adding a little bit more to underneath my cheekbones. And now that my lashes have dried, I'm running that pencil over top of the lash line just to make sure that the band isn't showing anywhere. For lip gloss, I'm taking this pale pink color and applying that generously on my lips. And I'm finishing off again with my makeup setting spray. And that is my finished nighttime look. But wait, there's more! No, but really, you can change your hair up really simple from day to night just by using like a bun maker. If you would like to learn how to make a fantastic, buntastic bun like this, I already have a video on it, so I'll link it down below. Hey presto, you have a bun! And this is my finished look, all completed with hair and makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!